Hello, welcome to Exo Photography. So this will be a quite strange video. Um, I want to talk about a bit about the weight that the camera and the filter wheel um, puts on the focuser. I got a question on the Cloudy Nights forum uh, regarding the Starlight filter wheel, whether the back plate uh, which the camera connects to uh, flexes or not. So I want to test that for myself. So what I have done here is I've set up a, a dial gauge which measures one hundreds of millimeters. So this is the dial gauge I used in another video which you can watch up here when I measured the uh, backlash of the focuser. The whole reason why I'm doing this experiment is that uh, I am in the market for a new camera. I'm especially interested in of the ZWO ASI 2600 mm or the QHY 260M, uh, both mono versions. If I go with the ZWO version, um, I could possibly keep my filter wheel, but then there was this concern of um, the filter wheel being not rigid enough so it might flex or if I go with the QHY version I could also go with the uh, filter wheel uh, which is a bolt on version but there is a problem for me with that combo the QHY and their own filter wheel because you can only rotate the camera uh, within this bolt pattern which is in 60 degrees incrementals and I need to point my filter wheel to be able to balance the telescope properly I need to align the filter wheel within 90 degrees so with the QHY, QHY and their own filter wheel it's either 60 degrees or 120 degrees not 90 so there's an issue for me uh, so what I want to do is, I want actually to uh, check how much the Starlight Express filter wheel is flexing when I am putting on a weight on the camera. What I've done here is, I've filled a bottle of water, which has uh, 3 deciliters in it, so it's 300 grams. 300 grams is uh, the extra weight which uh, the ZWO and the QHY camera uh, stresses um, uh, on the uh, screw flanges. So this is my Attic 460 and this weights um, about 450 grams, so quite light. So what I want to do is add 300 grams, um, so it will weigh about 750 grams and we will take a closer look on the dial gauge to see how much it flexures. So I will now gently just tighten the string and let those 300 grams uh, do its thing. So it barely moves. Um, so I'll lift it up this again. So let's see. It doesn't even make a a movement what it looks like. So with definitely within one hundredths of a millimeter, it doesn't move at all. So what this means is this Starlight Express filter wheel will probably be rigid enough for me to go with the ZWO version. Another thing which also might help uh, is that as of now, I have a ZWO M42 tilt adapter and between that and the camera there is also a uh, gender changer uh, from a male to a female thread and also 0.3mm shim. If I go with the ZWO version, I already checked this out and I just need to change the flange 
uh, on the filter wheel. I don't need a tilt adapter, I don't need a gender changer, and I don't need a shim. So in that case, the camera will be mounted directly onto the filter wheel. This probably made my choice a bit easier. I haven't decided if I want to go with the ZWO or the QHI version. Um, I have read something about uh, driver issues with QHY. Um, splitted frames and such. Uh, I seldom hear that from ZWO users. Um, so, and it's red, you know. <laughs> I have those red details on my telescope, so um, I might go with ZWO, but still haven't decided yet. What I want to show you now, guys, uh, has to do with calculating drive back focus uh, for these particular items, which I I almost decided to go to the ZWO camera. So, but I calculated the back focus uh, with the QHY camera as well, uh, as well as with their own filter wheel. I also calculated the back focus with the uh, new corrector um, and the ASI. Uh, 2600 so um, right now um, to achieve the right back focus uh, first of all we need to know uh, what back focus we, we need and that is uh, has to do with the um, corrector so um, so this is the corrector and this is a, a recorded design corrector uh, which has a 1.0 um, magnification factor, so basically no magnification, uh, it's just a coma corrector. Um, so the right back focus for this one is the, uh, I have the 250mm f4 native telescope, uh, which give me, gives me a working distance of 64mm. But take notice, because if you're using filters, the filters are actually adding distance to your back focus. And my particular filter, the Astrodons, adds one third of the thickness of the filters. Uh, and the thickness of those filters is three millimeters, uh, which makes the added back focus uh, one millimeter. So I need actually to hit 65 millimeters. Um, and as you can see in this list here, um, it not particularly much which um, differs from the different uh, native focal ratios uh, and the diameter of the mirror. So um, I'm going for 64 millimeter plus the thickness of the filter or the correction factor for the filters. So uh, the needed back focus is 65 millimeter and also uh, added a reminder here that it is 64 plus one millimeter for the filters. Um, right here is the list for the um, items with, uh, which is included in this image train. This is the whole image train. So um, I also um, added the schematics for the uh, corrector. Uh, the filter wheel and the CMOS camera. So let's start from the camera side. Uh, what we have here, I actually made two columns, one for the theoretical build length and one for the measured build length. Um, the back focus for the ASI 2600 camera is 17.5 millimeters. So I'm going to add that. The thickness of the Starlight Express USB filter wheel, the standard version, is 29 millimeter. Uh, I actually measured um, some tenth of a millimeter off um, regarding um, what kind of adapter plate I have. So I need to double check that when I actually get all the new adapters um, home. Uh, but for now, I um, entered what the specification of the schematics says. So 29 millimeters. Um, to accommodate the I don't like thumb screws um, to hold the whole image train, 
thumb screws might push in some direction and also introduce tilt um, therefore I go with all threaded uh, adapters so no slop no backlash no nothing I want everything to be threaded so to start off the um, coma corrector needs to be threaded in an M68 adapter that adapter will introduce 7.5 millimeters uh, I also checked this uh, distances before um, then I also need a step down from M68 to M54 um, and that is the adapter ring uh, which is going to be threaded on the filter wheel that adapter will add uh, actually that adapter is 12 millimeter long but 3.5 millimeters of those is going to be screwed inside um, the M86 adapter. So we are left with 8.5 millimeters. Um, all of those measurements will add up to 62.5 millimeters, uh, but I need 65, so there is 2.5 millimeters left to adjust. Um, I am going to uh, probably order um, uh, this M68 to M54 adapter has quite long threads uh, which makes it uh, possible to add a M68 uh, uh, contra uh, nut to be able to fine adjust that. Basically you make it a fine tune ring. Um, I'm also going to uh, order some uh, 0 0.5, 1 and 1.5 millimeter M68 uh, fine tuning rings in aluminium or stainless steel to be able to work with the distance and also when I am measuring the physical distance not just the theoretical because I really need to uh, have that uh, well at least uh, one tenth of a millimeter correct so um, by the looks of it um, the filter wheel um, it looks like it's going to hold the extra weight uh, so I couldn't measure any any flexure which is going to affect the tilt of the sensor um, and also with these new um, adapters it's going to be even more sturdy connection than what the attic camera has um, so I'm quite confident that I will go with the ZWO camera uh, and to use my Starlight Express filter wheel with that. I'm so satisfied with the Starlight Express filter wheel. I can't uh, address that enough. I had no troubles whatsoever for the past six or seven years I've used that one. So um, why change anything that works and you're happy with? So um, this is the new corrector. Um, which make my system a F4 system but the larger sensor on the new camera is going to actually <laughs> I, I'm um, hitting more uh, wide field space um, even uh, when I step up from uh, F3.4 so possibly will achieve better focus um, possibly better contrast we'll see about that but um, so yeah let's see if i push this button um i'm quite confident that uh, i made all the calculation correct and um i'm confident that the zwo camera is a good one um haven't read anything about uh, driver problems i am i'm running my observatory remote during the nights when i'm asleep so the drivers is actually a big thing for me um which i read some that QHY is is a bit sketchy. Thanks for watching guys. Um, I hope you like my videos. Um, if you need help calculating in back focus or something, just give me a sh shout out. Um, stay tuned, subscribe to my channel, like the video, comment if you have any questions. Uh, and we'll see you out there. Bye.